We are all creators in our own ways from day to day, whether we realize it or not. From our daily choice of clothes, to how we wear our hair, to how we decorate our homes, just to name a few. Customization opportunities are all around us. Technical artist Josh Hickey Patrick Quinn will now explain additions the team has made to the Golf Club 2019's character creator. My name is Joshua Hickey Patrick Quinn. I'm technical animator here at HB Studios. So yeah, with the character creator this year, we wanted to add more um, content uh, and higher polished content so that the users have a, a better experience making, making their characters. So we've added uh, a lot more polish to the animation, including facial animation on the characters so they feel a lot more alive in the scene. Um, we've added uh, more clothing items for them to wear, hats, etc. Um, we've also added height and weight, um, which is a big win. Uh, I think we can stretch the players from six foot three to five foot one, um, uh, which kind of just allows you to, to get that broader range. Um, it doesn't affect gameplay at all, it's purely visual. Um, and a big thing we've done this year uh, that we haven't done a whole lot before at HB is hair tech. Um, so we've spent a lot of time trying to figure out our modeling and shading to make the hair much better than we have made in previous games. Um, we have proprietary joint systems. Uh, we've kind of left the Unity engine dynamics in the back. Uh, and we have uh, our own stuff to allow ponytails and such to move much, much better, as well as just give the, the hair more life and body while you're while you're playing and in, the, and in the editor. So yeah, we've added a lot of new hair tech, um, both in shaders, modeling, um, and dynamics. Uh, some new propri proprietary tech, um, and we've used this on facial hair as well. So we have a lot more choices uh, of hair uh, that looks a whole lot better than anything HB has done in the past, uh, both in facial hair and for uh, head hair. Um, uh, we've added stuff like uh, more receding hairlines, longer hairstyles for men, um, and it all moves a lot better now with our new tech, uh, with a much lower overhead than, than we've had before because of some new proprietary software. So one of the things we really wanted to accomplish this year with the character creator was to make it feel a lot more natural, make it feel a lot more, uh, a lot less stiff. Um, as some of our, our titles in the past have had and, and many games have. So we put a lot of attention into the animation and adding facial animation um, so they don't just have blank expressions. Uh, they look around a lot more and it just feels much nicer when you're uh, dressing your character and uh, changing things. Um, along with new hairstyles and new clothing items, it's, it's a much better experience than it has been. So with all the new accessories we've added, including hats, glasses, and facial hair, we also retain the functionality to edit faces with all of these. So the beards conform to the face when you uh, change your jawline or, or edit your nose, uh, and the hair uh, conforms to any hats you're wearing. Um, all this works together so that we can make a much more natural uh, player, much truer to, to what you want to make your character look like, whether it's you or... Oh, I forgot his name. Dennis Rodman. <laughs> <laughs>